hello and welcome back to the ultimate decades challenge it has been about a year and a half in game since we last saw each other so it's about halfway through 1339 right now and constance is pregnant and about to give birth again um i do think just so that you guys know we might be going through the next few years kind of quickly since there have been so many children deaths, I kind of want to get through the next few years and at least get through this phase of trying for babies and seeing if they survive. And I definitely want to show those births and rolls to you guys. Um, but outside of those things and like waiting for children to happen, um, there's not a lot of story going on. Um, we are going to try to get a spouse for Peter soon, and then he will also be trying for kids. It might be a bit more rapid pace in that sense, um, but we do have Richard's birthday this episode. Maybe we'll have a different heir, <laughs> depending if he lives or not, because um, he doesn't have any kids right now, um, although he has one on the way as well. Um... But if that baby is not a boy or doesn't survive, basically Richard's line is going to die out um, if he also dies. But I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves with that. Um, we do have something to hope for right now, which is um, Constance's baby, which she is ready to have here. Um, it looks like Osbert is maybe going through midlife crisis. See what's going on with that real quick pause that all right osbert has hit the breaking point in life he's feeling the absence of connecting with others romantically socially or domestically he'll gain a bonus for all positive social interactions during this period check the aspiration panel okay so he has a desire for relationships so he wants to socialize with family make a new bff friend of rabbit get married interesting okay so looks like he's getting older he's starting to you know transition the shepherding duties to thomas and maybe he's looking for you know some new relationships so i will consider that um i don't know who he would meet in the middle of the prairie here but um, maybe he can find someone in town if he does want to break from shepherd life so we'll keep that in mind we'll see what happens with that and constance is about to give birth and it's a boy all right let's name him gilbert Jerba. All right, and baby Gilbert, we are going to need to roll for you. So we're going to roll a d20 for little Gilbert. And to survive his way into this world, we're going to need to avoid 1, 5, 10, 15, and 20. And he is going to pass away. Um, and let's see if Constance survives. And she is good. Alright, so we have another birth with complications, essentially. Um, so we are going to say goodbye to little Gilbert. And I'm going to take care of that off camera. And I will see you guys back at the Hawthorne house. It is now time to celebrate Richard's birthday. So he is turning 30 today. He will be turning into the adult life stage. So he invited a bunch of relatives and friends over to hang out and celebrate. We did not invite Thomas and his family since they're pretty far away and Constance just gave birth. Um, but some of Agneta's family is here, her two kids, Dennis and Sybil, and 
our friend Arn, who we know is more than a friend. As well as some villagers, Maria, Fiona Gallagher, who's Mari's mom, Kyla Gallagher, who is Mari's sister-in-law, as well as some others. So got a good group going there. And let's uh, make a wish on the cake here. <laughs> all right he needs to go all the way over here to age up probably something to do with the walls yep he's going just outside all right and richard has now entered into adulthood so now that Richard is an adult, we do need to roll to see if he survives. Um, so the roll for this is going to be if he gets anything less than a five, he is going to die. So I'm going to get the dice up. Obviously, I'm nervous for this one because Richard is our current heir and he has no children right now. I'm definitely hoping he lives, but also, like, our luck has been so bad, I would not be surprised either way. But let's just get it over with. Um, so praying for a five or higher. Okay, and he got a seven, so he is good. Okay, so Richard is going to live for the next, I think, 12 years um, is how the rules work, or at least my aging system works. So he has another 12 years to try to produce an heir. So with that, let's get back to the party. Um, okay, I guess another update. So Peter is courting Guinevere Sestari, who's a few years younger than him, um, but she is now a young adult, so um, let's talk to her. So I think very soon I'm going to try to get them engaged. Um, they have a good relationship with the Sestari household. Here's the mom, Thalia, and dad Julio so maybe we can even talk to Julio now oh, he's you know in a good mood I'm not entirely sure if Peter would arrange it or if Richard would but I feel like Peter's like he's in his 20s now so he might as well to speak for himself. Okay, Peter is going to ask for Julio's permission to marry Guinevere. And it looks like they agreed. Oh, so, talk to Guinevere about that make a joke about marriage. I don't think Peter is very tactful. Might not realize that, you know, maybe she doesn't want it, but hopefully she does. It's like Richard likes compliments. So I'm hoping that um, they can at least get along. I do think they have good compatibility. Um, so that's good. Um, Peter finds going to be basic looking, but they have good compatibility. It'll be a good match for them. So let's hold her hand since they are now engaged. Nice. 
Oh, they can elope at the earliest opportunity. I don't think I can do it during the birthday party, so that's why we're not doing it right away, but very soon they can. It's like everyone ate up all the food. Get Peter a blackberry. Everyone else is doing okay. Aldrita can clean up a little. Like Richard's chatting with a lot of people, which is cool. Chat with everyone. I didn't realize there was a court um, interaction. It just came up with Maria. I think it's a proper sim thing because Richard is a proper sim. He can court someone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's getting pretty late, so let's end the birthday party. Uh, let's plan our wedding event. Oh, I don't have enough money. Well, that's nice. Um, can they not elope when they are in an arranged marriage? Like, maybe not. So, we will have to get enough money for them to at least have their wedding. Alright, Mari is very pregnant. She does not like public displays of affection. Mari also got the unflirty trait recently. I think she's been really trying to have more kids and it's been kind of making intimacy into more of a chore than something fun for her. So she and Richard are a little strained right now, which is unfortunate. Let's have them talk about relationship beers. Ask about family drama and connect a little bit after his birthday. Uh-huh. Andre is hungry, so I'm just gonna grab her some produce. Let's just grab some apples. Alright, and let's have Mari grab a couple apples and then send everyone to bed. All right, we do have enough money now after selling a bunch of cross stitch to plan this wedding. So let's have Peter organize it. Plan wedding event. Actually, let's do um plan a social event because I think the neutral ceremony is actually in there. That's caused me some issues before. Uh, let's see, plan social event. All right, neutral wedding. Perform a wedding ceremony in a neutral setting to complete the marriage contract. So we're going to keep it pretty small. Just invite kind of the immediate family. All right, we have arrived at the church. Have everyone get inside. Great. Peter's future family. It looks like they're all following him outside to the fire. Guinevere chose black, which is definitely an interesting color. Um, it looks really good on her, though. Um, so let's just have them get married right away. They are exchanging their vows. Well, <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, well, let's kiss uh, her. <laughs> Shomba Falaru, Subao, Plepaya, ah. Arno. All right, and let's move them in. So right now, and the Sestari household, Guinevere does have an older brother who would be the heir, but he is off at war, and they're not sure if he's going to come home or when he would come home. So I think for now, Peter is just going to move in with them, and if... Ezekiel comes back from war and, you know, takes over the household, they can figure something else out. But for right now, um, Peter's going to move in with them and kind of keep Guinevere's parents company so that they are not all alone. And we have no dowry to transfer since we married off a male. So that looks good. Okay, so I canceled the wedding event prematurely because it switched households when I moved Peter into the Sestari household. Um, it also looks like he has a goat in his inventory, which is going to be a problem. So we're going to have to visit the Hawthorne household. I forgot he had that goat in there. So I'm going to get some photos of them and then drop that goat off. And then we will... Head on home to Peter's new household and family. So we're at the Sestari house now. Um, I guess the Hawthorne Sestari house. Um, I did expand the house a little bit to add two new rooms so that they can have room for the parents, a room for Peter and Guinevere, and then... Uh, maybe a room for either Ezekiel when he comes back or kids. Um, so did that, but did not have enough money to actually furnish them fully. So we'll work on that. Um, but um, we do need to have 11 kids for Peter. That's what we rolled for. So... They need to get started on that right away, and they need to consummate their marriage. So let's chat. Oh, that's Thalia. Nope, nope. Where's Guinevere, our wife? Um, so let's have Peter chat with her. It looks like they're already starting to flirt. So let's express fondness. And Richard is here because I had to give him the goat as a gift so he could transfer it. Because if I had tried to leave it at the Hawthorne farm, it would just get put back in Peter's inventory um, when he left the lot. So, but he's here. Right, they're gonna go get some privacy. Uh, let's complain about the heat wave. Wish. Got Farza, Nabwinok. Let's do a suave kiss. Wern <laughs> Vikara. Oh, All right, let's consummate this marriage. Oh, hopefully they will have a baby on the way soon and we will add them into our baby rotation. So Peter, Thomas, and Richard are all actively trying to have more kids right now. So we will keep that going. Looks like Mari is ready to have her baby. 
Um, I think she's going to drink some milk quick. Right before, because she is very hungry. Yep. Oh, Klimba! Gotta double fist that milk. Get some protein oh. for the activity ahead. Um, it's like Aldrina's outside talking to Richard. Richard is taking care of the goats right now. All right, so let's have this baby. And Aldrita should probably come help out when she's done with putting the laundry away. Nobu. Okay, and it is a boy. Let's name him William. So there's little William. Gonna have Mama rock him. Ooh, it looks like she might have a fever. She looks okay, but she was just thinking about it. So let's do the rolls for baby William. So for William to survive, he needs to avoid 1, 5, 10, 15, and 20. Oh, and he is good! Oh my gosh, yes, that's our first baby who survived in so long. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. We need a boy so bad. Um, we also need to roll for Mari giving birth, so not a one, please. Okay, and she's good too. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, that is very, very good. Um, so little baby William will survive his baby stage. Um, let's see, he was born on Saturday. I think Sunday we have quite a few birthdays, so I'll wait for his infant roll until Sunday. So they can just enjoy their little baby today. So let's have Richard come see him. Let's set um, feeding preference to breastfeeding and um, use cloth diapers. So Richard is enjoying his little baby. Aldreda likes discussing hobbies, okay. If there's any good outfits for this era, I think a lot of them have quite a lot of color to them. Let's do a green bean, just for something a little different. Our precious, precious William. All right, and let's have Aldreda come see. Baby, let's do super. Actually, no. I think that includes feeding, which Aldreda can't do. Let's have Grandma come cuddle little William. Get Richard out of the way. Here we go. <laughs> Any stinkies. Let's take care of him. Change his diaper. Yeah, Mama's gonna have to come feed him. There we go. All right. Happy baby. So let's get our chores all good. I think Richard took care of the goats already. Um, Aldreda can harvest some plants. Looks like the feeders are good. Have Richard harvest a couple of these prairie grasses. They often find good stuff in them. 
Um, and then he can go fishing to try to earn some meat as well as some fish to sell. And maybe Algrida can check the mail because I think they got some stuff from selling some older chickens. It's like we have one egg still waiting to hatch. And I'm not sure how many roosters versus hens we have right now. I think we have maybe a rooster chick or maybe two. I'm not sure. Oh, we have a mixture, so that's good. I kind of wonder how much a ranch hand would cost. Um, especially if they do start having kids, which I don't want to jinx by planning ahead too much. Um, they do have Eldre to help, to help out, so that's good. But we could get a lot more goats if we had a ranch hand. So we have a ton of white meat. So I'll have to figure out what recipes they can make that actually use that. Oh, put all the milk out. Um, okay, and we just got a bunch of vegetables as well. So let's put these in here. And we got animal party treat increases social motive. And fishy protein treat animals will produce one extra milk or egg or wool. Okay, so that might be good to give to maybe a hen. Um, and then animal party maybe to one of the goats who are younger because I still haven't gotten them to high enough social skill or social status. Let's see, Smiles and Billy are both adults. Um, okay, and here's the third one because Sandra's also adult, an adult. Looks like we have a couple of plants to evolve here. Maybe they'll get another goat. And I will work really, really hard this time on getting its um, friendship up. Maybe with Aldreda. Let's name her Snowflake. Place in world. Alright, so here's Snowflake. Let's care for her and milk her right away. And let's tell some jokes. Okay, Mari does have a fever now. That's not good. And let's give this to... Goat. Let's see, how do I give it to you? Bunch of glads of toy. Oh. Huh. I don't actually know how to give this treat. Dream. Maybe it doesn't work on goats. Does it work on chickens? Give treat. Okay, so you can't give treats to the goats. That's kind of disappointing. Um, okay, so figure out which of these is a hen. They all kind of look like roosters to me. <laughs> Let's check. Um, assign chickens. Hens. Okay, mama is a hen. The other two are roosters. So, where's mama? Okay. Give treat. Let's do the, the protein so that she makes enough, another egg. And hopefully this chick is a hen. But I kind of thought it was a rooster. Like, Mari is really struggling. I think we need to get her into bed as soon as possible. 
Um, let's have Richard come fix this line. And Mari, sorry you have to fix the toilet right before you use it. All right, now you can use it. And then drink some milk. And did you actually use it? Okay, yeah, you did. And Richard, you can use that. William is looking all stinky again. Have Altrida change his diaper. Oh, it looks like Richard's doing it. Okay. Maybe I did that on accident. He's gonna pee himself though. And then Mari should be okay. So let's go feed William. And Mari wants to be a super parent. So she wants to be a parent, achieve level four parenting skill, and discipline your child five times. All right, Richard's doing some sit-ups. And then he can repair the sink once he's done. And Alderita can help clean up a little bit. And they need to go to bed. Oh, Sunny is a rooster. So we might need to buy some more hen chicks. So we only have one hen right now. Rita is going to make some bread. There's not a whole lot of rustic recipes that I can find that use up the meat we have. So we do have a ton of wrapped white meat, but it might be kind of hard to figure out how to actually use that. If you know any good recipes, let me know. Um, but yeah, we'll try to make some bread and then from there some soup and hopefully that will use the correct meat. In the meantime, there's plenty of milk for them to drink. Some fat is all fresh. Like the chickens are up, or at least I hear them. So let's clean the coop and it's like no eggs today, but let's buy some hens. Let's see, how do I, oh, purchase chickens. Let's get a couple hen chicks. Okay, let's name our hens. Apple and Beanie. So there we go. We can scatter some more feed. Mari's feeling better, so let's have her do some harvesting and weeding and watering. She needs to repair this laundry line still. Okay, so now we have bread roll soup, or bread roll stew, which hopefully is very nutritious for them. Looks really good. Aldrida is sick now too. She's got spots all over her. Like there's a egg ready to hatch. Let's have Aldrida do that. And then we are going to start a birthday party because it is Mari's birthday today. She is turning 30. Um, it's also little William's birthday and it's also Sybil's birthday as well. So we are going to be aging all of them up. Um, so let's have Mari start the party so we can make sure to invite everyone she knows. A few people have shown up now. I think Richard got all his chores done, so that's good. 
Well, Tala's here. That's good. I don't know if I invited her or not. I must have, though. Oh, is Nico supposed to be at war? Yes, he is. Uh, might have to send him home, actually. I forgot he should be at war. And Aiden, is he at war? Yeah, Aiden is too. Let's send them back. So, lots of, of women here today, since quite a few of the men are at war. Julio is not at war, I don't think. So, a lot of Mari's family should be here. Um, Powell's here. Some Agneta's family. Oh yeah, her sister's out here. Let's greet some of these people. Mm, Sybil is angry at the tub. <laughs> is Tarifa being flirty at Julio? Alright, baby is in need of care and Mari is already on it like a great mom. Let's change his diaper. Get him fed up. Right, maybe we should serve this wine. I guess there's not too much there. We can pour out a few servings. Where are you pouring these out? Okay, just on the floor. Let's have Richard drink one, Mari can grab one. And whoever wants the other two can grab them. Put them out here. Is Tarifa flirting again? Lady. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the aging up since everyone's starting to get a little hungry. Um, so I'm gonna cancel out of those interactions. I do not know what's happening in there. Rifa is coming after everyone today. Um, so Mari is going to age up. Let's make a wish on the candles. And Mari is now a full adult. And everyone can grab some cake. And we also have to age up William. Maybe we'll do that right away as well. Richard is not busy, so... Have him age up William. And William is a cautious infant. Markham. Like he has red hair like his mom. <laughs> so let me get some outfits for him real quick. Here is little infant William, and I believe with that I have procrastinated long enough and we need to do the rolls. I got his outfit updates done. I updated Richard's um, hair and facial hair a little bit just because he's getting older as well, you know, over time. and. Gave Mari a little wrinkles around the eyes. I don't know what she's doing way out here. Let's get you inside. 
Um, so yeah, did some updates, drank my coffee that I'd forgotten about. So I think we need to do these rolls. Um, so for Mari, it's going to be the same roll structure as Richard. So she needs to get at least a five to survive. So let's roll for Mari. Okay, and she is good. That is so exciting. Okay. Um, and then for William, who's hanging out up here. I think he's maybe too shy to go downstairs quite yet. Um, he needs to avoid 12, 16, and 18. Just three numbers. Oh, and he's good! Oh my gosh! That is so exciting! Oh my gosh. That is such better luck than what we've been having. Wait! Who? Dennis? Oh my gosh! No, you guys! No, okay. Someone come plead for him. Who's right here, Mari? Um, Grim, are you gonna come inside or no? Did he die from anger? No, okay, come on, Dennis. Like, you're one of our only males in our third generation right now. Alright, let's plead for Dennis. Why is he so angry? Hey, Mari. If you can get over there. Okay, he said no. Let's have Aldreda plead. Aldreda fears death too much to plead with him. What? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Poor Agneta. Agneta, your son just died. William's cousin just died. Well, that's not a great end to a party. We also have to roll for Sybil, because she's aging up today. I'm going to give them a little break, just because Death is still here. Can we get Aldreda um, to stop being afraid of Death? Because we need her to be able to plead. Fears. <laughs> well, it's so sad. Her brother just died. Discuss fears. I keep having Aldreda talk about fears, but I don't know if it's working. Can Richard come console like Agneta? Like this is this is crazy. Yeah, I think William's okay for now. Maria can beat him, I guess. Uh, let's comfort Agneta. Um, not affection, sorry. Um, console about death. Jeez, that is traumatic. Wait, she didn't like it? Jeez. 
That's not good. Oh my gosh. I'm worried about Agneta if Sybil dies right now. I don't know if Agneta's gonna make it. Oh my gosh. But we have to. It's already Monday. Like, we have to roll. Um, shoot. Okay. Let's roll for Sybil just to find out what happens. So, Sybil's roll. She needs to avoid 11, 13, and 14. Okay, and she's fine. Okay, that's good. We don't have to worry about that. Um, really unfortunate that Dennis died just a few days before, I guess, months in game days, but real time months before he would have become a young adult as well. Um, I'm not really sure who to marry Sybil to because the few villagers who are around her age are all at war. Um, and we're kind of running into, like, trying to marry into the same few families over and over again. So I might just grab some random, like, kind of outside guy for her, um, like from the gallery or something. Since Dennis is no longer with us, that means Sybil would inherit her father's farm, or really, like, whoever she marries would inherit the farm, so I think that would be, that would be a good reason for someone to want to marry her, especially someone who, like, is not the oldest son, um, who wants some land, so she's a really good catch right now, um, under unfortunate circumstances, but um, hopefully we can get a good husband for her. Because um, I think she's due... Let me check. Sybil is supposed to have six pregnancies. So, not a lot of kids. Um, so, we'll see how that goes, but she does need to get married. Everyone's hungry. Um... I guess I ate all the cake. Is there anything else we can put out for them? I mean, there's like berries and stuff. I don't know if they'll eat those super autonomously. But in case they want it. Um, little Powell is crying. Who's this? Nina Rogers. Okay. Welcome to the party, I guess? We can have Mari say hi. And Agneta's still here. I think I'm gonna... Give Dennis's grave to her. And I did confirm that he died by anger, so... Obviously that's not a real death, but... I am interpreting that as like he had a heart attack, basically, or something really sudden. Um, that like the stress just kind of pushed him over the edge. I'm not sure what he was angry about. I did not see that. So yeah, I don't know. But let's give his grave to his mom. Oh. We have five tombstones. I don't want to give her all of them, so I want to give her a specific one. Um, I really need to visit the graveyard and put all these graves in there. But for now, let's give Dennis's to his mom. Give her this one tombstone. Oh, I think she's happy to have that back with her. And let's pick up the rest of these graves. Oh no, everyone's mourning at them already. Alright. Well, I think let's call it a night on this party. And they need to get some rest. 
Um, I think as they go to bed, I'm going to have Richard and Mari woohoo. Since Mari has had some rest now since she had a baby. And we want to keep trying to produce some more airs. So it's woohoo and hopefully that chews everyone else out because there's a ton of people up here right now. <laughs> um, Alright, let's start sending these people home. Alright, woohoo with your wife. Rupa, no. You do not need to be here right now. Alright, there we go. Doing some baby making. And it's already 6 a.m. so they need to sleep in today I think. Um, but I'm gonna end this episode here you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad that Mari and William both survived. That's really good. Uh, I did not expect Dennis to die, <laughs> obviously. Um, that was quite unexpected um, and unfortunate for Agneta. Um, I wish we could have saved him so that her line lived on a little longer. But hopefully we can get a husband for Sybil and get her some kids so that Agneta can have some grandkids that way. Um, so yeah. Um, we will cover all that in the next episode. Um, we have a couple of babies on the way. I think Peter and Thomas's wives are both about to give birth. So we will start off with that next time. And I will see you then.